Hello guys. The dynamics of the Alabama football program are undergoing a significant transformation, and linebacker Deontay Lawson emerges as a central figure in this new chapter. With the arrival of new head coach Kalen DeBoer, Lawson finds himself in the midst of a crucial transition, adapting to a new defensive scheme, absorbing new terms and utilizing an updated communication system in his helmet. If you want more videos and news from Bama, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications here on YouTube. But the changes don't stop there. Lawson is making history by being the first Crimson Tide player to wear the number zero, a possibility allowed by the NCAA since 2020. His choice symbolizes a desire to embrace the new and usher in a new era in his career. Despite the changes, Lawson remains one of the few remaining pieces from last season's team. His decision not to enter the 2024 NFL draft and to remain at Alabama even after the retirement of legendary coach Nick Saban demonstrates his commitment to the program and his determination to lead his teammates. With an ankle injury hampering part of his previous season, Lawson is determined to make a big difference next season. Now fully recovered, he takes on a leadership role both on and off the field. His presence is already being felt in spring practice, where he is forming a strong connection with new defensive coordinator and inside linebackers coach Kane Womack. One of Lawson's goals is to become a consistent vocal leader, especially on a young team like Alabama this year. With the departure of previous defensive leaders for the NFL draft like Terry and Arnold and Chris Braswell, Lawson is being encouraged by peers like safety Malachi Moore to step into that leadership role. At the inside linebacker position, Lawson leads the pack, joined by teammates like Jihad Campbell, Justin Jefferson, and Jeremiah Alexander. As he faces the challenge of adapting to the new scheme, Lawson continues to meet with coaches and inspire his teammates, cementing his position as one of the best linebackers in college football in 2024. With his determination and constantly improving skills, Deontay Lawson is poised to make his mark in this new era of Alabama football, leading his team to great achievements and success on the field of play. And keeps going. The atmosphere at Alabama's spring practice under head coach Kalen DeBoer is marking a palpable change from the Nick Saban era. One of the most obvious differences is the greater availability of the media to interact with assistant coaches, something that was limited during Saban's time. At Wednesday's recent practice, defensive coordinator Kane Womack shared valuable insights with local reporters, providing a more transparent look at what's going on behind the scenes with the team. One of the questions asked was about senior defender Malachi Moore, and Womack's response couldn't be more complimentary. He singled out Moore as a true professional, praising not only his skills on the field but also his mentality and dedication to the game. Moore is described as someone who is constantly looking to improve, and his leadership is seen as a crucial element in guiding the team's young talent. With an impressive career thus far that includes 143 tackles, 12.5 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks and 5 interceptions in 53 games, Moore has already earned the respect of the new coaching staff in Tuscaloosa. His presence will not only strengthen the defense on the field, but will also serve as an example of leadership for his teammates. You can tell his opinion is very welcome in Tuscaloosa. As Alabama prepares for next season, Malachi Moore is emerging as an essential player whose impact goes far beyond statistics. His attitude and commitment are invaluable to the culture and continued success of the Crimson Tide. Now the latest news. Former Alabama football coach Nick Saban's retirement announcement two months ago took many by surprise, leaving fans and sports watchers stunned. While Saban didn't give a specific reason for his decision, he suggested in a recent interview with ESPN that nil agreements played a role in his selection. Saban expressed his frustration with players' growing emphasis on guaranteed playing time and financial compensation at the expense of other traditional college sports values. He highlighted that many players are more concerned with the potential for monetary gains than with sporting goals and personal development. 
However, it is crucial to recognize that college players deserve to be compensated for their hard work and dedication to the sport. Nil agreements represent an opportunity for athletes to capitalize on their image and popularity, something that has long been denied to them. While some old school coaches may express frustration with these changes, it is imperative that they adapt to the new reality of college sports. Compensating players for their performance and recognition is a positive evolution of the system, which reflects a greater appreciation of athletes and their rights. While Nick Saban's departure from football is a loss for the sport, his departure highlights the need for coaches to adjust and embrace the new dynamics of college football. In the end, players are finally being properly rewarded for their hard work and talent, and that is something that should be celebrated and supported. And your opinion? You can comment, I hope your opinion, in the comments.